Hey there chameleons, it's Camille, and today I am showing you seven different ways to fade out your semi-permanent hair dye going from this to this. So I wanna get rid of the remaining purple that I have in my hair. I dyed it a couple months ago and I've been slowly fading it out with the easy, simple, gentle methods, which I'm about to get into. And now it's time to pull out the big guns and just finish this off so I can bleach my roots and move on to my next color, which I'm really excited about, but you guys will have to wait and see. First, I gotta get rid of this color. So there are seven steps or seven methods that you can use to get rid of your hair color. And this works on semi-permanent hair dye. It could also possibly work on box dyes, but it's gonna be harder since it's more of like a permanent method. But what I do is I either use semi-permanent dyes that you've seen in previous videos, or for this one, I used a color depositing shampoo. So this is gonna work best on semi-permanent, demi-permanent color depositing shampoo type things. So the first step is the easiest method. It's just simply washing your hair with shampoo. And this is something that I don't normally do because when you have dyed hair like this, every time you use shampoo or something abrasive, it dislodges some of the dye. So I usually co-wash. And if you don't know what that is, co-washing is using just conditioner to wash your hair or using a co-wash product, which is more like a cleansing conditioner. So you don't have to use actual shampoo and strip your hair of color. But if you wanna fade it, you're gonna do the exact opposite and use shampoo, use dandruff shampoo, that usually helps a lot use shampoo that's low quality, that usually fades hair a lot faster. Just scrub it up dub use a plethora of shampoo, fade that stuff out in the shower, and you are on your way of losing your color. Step two can be used in conjunction with step one. It's pretty much just staying in the shower for a long time and just running water through your hair. And you wanna use really warm water because when you use warm water, it opens up the cuticle, which is also why people like to use heat when they're doing a protein treatment, bleaching your hair, whatever, because it really opens it up. So if you're trying to keep your color, then you wanna use cold water. But since you're trying to fade it out, use warm water, keep it in water as long as possible because whenever it is wet, it does fade. So you can soak your hair in water, you can get your hair wet in warm water and just like keep it up or whatever. Just use warm water for a long time you could do it with shampooing, after shampooing, or just over time when you're doing your hair and it will help it fade. Step three also somewhat goes along with step two. You can do it right after. I recommend using a leave-in conditioner and leaving it in your hair while it's wet and just keeping your hair moist that whole time. So the leave-in conditioner can help condition your hair, especially after all that shampoo and all of that drying it, but also keeping it wet and moist will help the color just kind of come out. One of my favorites is Marc Anthony Curl Envy Defrizz and Moisturize Mask. That is such a mouthful. It's a really good mask and I like to leave it in with damp hair and just help that fade out the color. I've done that already and you can see throughout time and washing and using warm water and through that, I've been able to get my hair this amount of faded. But I also recommend to just use it normally. The fourth method is to go swimming. Normally when I go swimming, I don't get my hair wet because it takes forever to dry and then I have to redo it and the chlorine will fade out the color. So in this case, use the chlorine to fade out your color. If that's not possible and if it's not summer or you don't have a pool, then you can skip right to the next step. So this is where it starts getting a little more intense. The next thing you can do is using a really harsh shampoo. You can use dandruff shampoo and mix it with baking soda. You could use a regular shampoo and mix it with baking soda. So that really helps kind of just scrub out the dye. People also use dish soap because that's also like really stripping. The reason I'm not gonna do those today is because it's really drying and harsh on your hair and I just kind of wanna keep my hair as healthy as possible. And I'm trying out a new method that I've never tried, I've never seen online. I'm just kind of messing around because in my head it makes sense that it would work, but you and I are about to find out if it is gonna work and then if I don't end up stripping it out enough with that, I have a backup plan. So now here's where I'm getting creative. I have shown the vitamin C method previously. I used it to get blue out of my hair like maybe four years ago. So that video is still up, but this time I'm gonna be using vitamin C and also my reconstructor. So this is by Ion. The bottle is like so messed up. <laughs> 
in my move, I guess it got squished. Also, I just kind of, this has been through a lot, but I really like this product as you've seen in other videos and it's a reconstructor like protein treatment slash sort of conditioner. And I'm using this mixed with vitamin C tablets. This is from Walgreens, it was like $4. So it's pretty inexpensive, you can also buy it online. But instead of mixing this with shampoo, which I normally do, I'm gonna be mixing it with this because it's a little bit more conditioning and it's not gonna be as harsh on my hair. So that, and it also is going to be like a treatment while it sits in my hair. And I'm doing like a halfway between shampoo and conditioner because I don't want to do full conditioner like the Aussie one that I like or something that's like really moisturizing because it's more slippery. And I feel like it won't penetrate the hair shaft as well as this because this is made to do that. And it also won't add like a layer of shine because we don't want that we want to like get right in there. So I'm going to crush up some vitamin C tablets. You have to get the powder ones, by the way. People ask me if they can get the gel capsules or like orange juice. Someone asked me a couple days ago if they could use orange juice, which would be really cool and I'd love to see someone try. I'm not gonna try it because I don't think it's gonna work, but the powder tablets are the way to go. And now that I'm in my new apartment, I don't really have anything. So I'm going to use an ice cream scoop and this little Pyrex glass jar to crush them. Uh, it's the best I could do, best I could find. So my plan is to just crush it manually like that. <laughs> so this is how much comes in the bottle. That's so lame. I thought it was gonna be a lot more. I'm glad I bought two bottles then. I'm so disappointed that it's just like that. That's what I paid $4.50 for. I've never had one of those like crushy things, you know what I'm talking about, that you can like grind stuff in. Okay, this is sort of working. Just gotta put some elbow grease into it. Just cornering these babies and using my guns. Good thing I work out for 10 minutes a day. This is really coming in handy. So once you have chopped up that Coke and it is completely fine ground powder, you're going to cut it with the Ion Reconstructor Repair and mix it all up until it turns into like a really gooey paste. It should look something like this. It took me nine pumps to get it to the perfect texture. You don't want it to be runny at all. Just like that. So then you wanna put it on damp hair. So I just stuck my head in the sink. My hair is damp now. Oh, it gets cold. Woo! <laughs> but I'm gonna start applying the goop in the middle because that's where my hair has the most color. And it's also where the strongest hair is. So I wanna get that nice and saturated. You can start wherever your hair is brightest because that's where it needs it the most. But eventually you're gonna end up covering everywhere. So. Just continue until all of the colored parts are covered. You don't need to do your roots, obviously, because that won't do anything to them. It doesn't taste good. Turns out I have a cut on my hand, but the show must go on. I will cry about it later. You can also use a little bit of water to thin out the formula if you need to, if it's not really spreading really well. And after getting the whole thing covered, I'm taking each section individually and just massaging it into the hair and this also helps sort of break up any clumps that are gonna be there and also make sure that everything is covered. Plus it kind of helps massage out the color. And while you're doing that, you wanna make sure that you're being kind of gentle because your hair is wet and already colored. So you don't wanna add any more damage or make it break. When you do this, you wanna make sure that you don't have any oil in your hair. So just don't add any oil products before doing this because vitamin C is water soluble and water and oil don't really mix like that. So you don't want any oil blocking this from going into the hair cuticle. So now everything has been coated and massaged and I'm just gonna go over the areas that are the brightest purples like this and then you can see the back is kind of fading pretty well. So I'm gonna go over this area again. 
but I'm just gonna put some water in this and get it all mixed up and use the rest of that on my hair while getting it a little bit more damp and getting it ready to put up. So I got this milky looking thing. And I'm just gonna scoop some up and put it in my hair, make everything nice and squishy. I should do an ASMR for this. By the way, there is another thing that you can do to fade your hair. There are hair fading kits and they smell really disgusting and they're a little bit harsh. They're like pretty harsh on your hair. It will make it like pretty dry and crusty and it will make you smell like six weeks rotten eggs on a hot day, like straight up your nose. Like it is disgusting. So I try to avoid those as much as possible and I'm doing this slower method because it's better for my hair and I really just want to keep my hair healthier and curly without smelling like eggs. Just dipping my ends in here. Oof. My hair is all saturated now so I'm putting it up into a bun. It sort of looks faded already more silvery than purple. And that's what I'm going for. Like you're not gonna get every single last bit out, but the more pastel, the better. And I really like the silvery undertones, especially for the color I'm doing next. So I'm gonna put a scrunchie. And instead of being innovative this time, I'm going to use a real shower cap and not a plastic bag from Price Chopper. So I'm covering my whole head with this so it can stay nice and moist and trap the heat from my scalp and just keep everything in there. And I'm blow drying all over my head because the heat, as I mentioned earlier, helps open the hair cuticle and that helps get the mixture, the concoction, if you will, penetrating all the way down and will help it process more and it will also just kind of help heat it up and trap the heat. Also, any excuse to use my Dyson blow dryer, I'm gonna be using my Dyson blow dryer. <laughs> Okay, we hot out here and we're leaving this on for however many hours you can stand it. I'm probably gonna leave it in. Oh, I don't even know how late am I staying up today. So maybe like three or four hours and then I'm washing it out in the shower using my hot water. As I mentioned earlier, using my stripping shampoo. Use the best one that you have and just kind of massage it out as best as you can because that's what's going to help dislodge the dye. And take your time with this. Don't be afraid to do strand by, well not strand by strand, but like little sections at a time like I did when I was putting the mixture in. So I kind of fell asleep for three days, which is why my hair is kind of frizzy right now. But this is what it looks like after one round of fading it out. As you can see, the back is way more faded. It's pretty like silvery underneath. And then some of the parts at the top are still kind of purple. But I really like how this looks after one treatment. And normally I do two rounds of this to get all of the color out. But after one round, I feel like it's good enough because next I'm going to be dyeing my roots. And when I wash that out of my hair, it's going to it's going to touch my other hair when it's going out. So if I was only going to do this and then try and change the color, I would do another round. But since I'm going to be bleaching my roots, which are way overdue, I'm going to have the bleach in there and then when I wash it out of my hair, it's going to come in contact with this a little bit in the shower and that's kind of going to be similar to a bleach bath. So it's going to help get more color out. So I want to hold off on doing a second round because I know the bleach is going to help fade some of it out. Also, the brighter your hair is when you fade it out, the easier it is to get more color out. So like, let's say you just did a purple like five days ago and you don't like it. Then you can go ahead and do the vitamin C round and it will help get a lot of the purple out. And then let's say it gets out like three quarters of it. Then the next round, it will get like 
half of that out and then the next round we'll get like half of that out so over time it's going to be less effective so that's just something to keep in mind and next I'm doing two rounds of bleaching my roots and I'm using different products this time because I want to test out an Olaplex dupe to see how it compares and if it's just as good so I'm gonna be doing a whole video on that I'll link it in the description box down below if you want to check that out so I'm doing this before working on any more fading because when I rinse out the bleach it'll drag some more color out on the way similar to a bleach bath which is pretty much when you mix a bleach mixture with shampoo to gently fade out or slightly lighten your hair and a bleach bath is another way that you can fade your hair but I'd avoid it if you can because bleach is harsh and you don't want it to be on hair that's already been bleached but this is a diluted version so if you really need it then you totally can and if you're doing your roots anyways there's going to be a little bit that's going to go through the rest of your hair anyways so I'd try a couple rounds of vitamin C and then resort to bleach baths so this is what my hair looks like after fading it out and doing one round of the vitamin C and then two rounds of bleaching my roots until it was pretty much white. So this is all that I'm going to do for my ends because the color I'm doing next is going to go really well on top of this and it's pretty transparent. Like what you're seeing is just the last remaining bits but once you put a color over it, it's going to have a lot more of that color rather than the just tiny bits left in this translucent color. So it's going to be no big deal to dye on top of. So if you're doing pretty much any color that's not like super, super pastel, you should be good. If not, you can go ahead and do another round of the vitamin C or you can do a bleach bath to get it like very, very completely gone platinum white. I wish you could see this in person because it looks legitimately like fluffy cotton candy and I kind of love it. If I were to leave this color and do my roots, I would be very happy with it. But I have other plans for my future, so I will be changing that. The video will be on my Instagram, so don't forget to follow me on there. And since you're already following me on places, you might as well subscribe and turn on your notifications. Check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I never thought I would be saying that, but go check out my TikTok. I actually started posting on one. It didn't get banned, so I feel like it's not going away, so I might as well embrace it. All the products that I used will be linked in the description box down below, as well as the vitamin C that I would recommend, rather than the one that I was able to find, because this one is a way better price per unit. So thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I will see you in the next one.